If you're thinking about buying an action camera and don't know which one is right for you, or maybe you've already bought your DJI Osmo Action 3 and you're trying to get familiar with the features, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to cover all the Osmo Action 3 features as well as the included accessories. The standard combo starts at $329 and with that you get one battery. DJI claims you can get 160 minutes of use out of their battery. I can't say I've gotten 160 minutes, but I have used it when I'm out all day shooting, recording on and off, and I've never had any battery issues, so it does do pretty well. You also get the quick release adapter, and this is a really cool feature. It uses magnets along with clips uh, to secure the camera to whatever you want to mount it to, and it is really tight. A really cool innovation by DJI, kind of taking that technology from the Action 2. You also get this protective vertical and horizontal frame. So the purpose of this is that you can put the camera into it and have it sitting horizontally. Uh, but let's say you have it attached to your helmet, you want to shoot some vertical video for social media, for Instagram, TikTok. You flip the camera up and you're ready to go and shoot a vertical video. You get an extra rubber lens protector. It doesn't protect the lens from scratching. It fits along the outside to provide a little extra protection. The lens is removable. You get the flat adhesive mounting plate with a locking screw and a USB-C cable. There are several additional combo packs you can choose from. The prices range from $378 to $439. The best value, in my opinion, it would be the Adventure Combo because you get a total of three batteries and a portable charger. So that's great if you're going to be recording all day. On this channel, I'm going to continue to bring you the latest action camera news, reviews, and how to's. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Now let's check out the camera. We have a power button. It's also the quick switch button, which allows you to quickly switch between uh, modes that you're going to use most frequently. Here we have the shutter button uh, for starting videos, taking pictures. The rear screen size is two and a quarter inches. We also have a front screen. That screen is 1.4 inches. And the front screen is not only so you can see yourself like if you're doing vlog style content and actually is a touch screen. I really like the user interface on the Action 3. I think the buttons are laid out really well. They're easy to read, easy to navigate. Here we have the USB-C port for charging and data transfer. The large door is to access the battery and the SD card slot. It records in 4K up to 120 frames per second. The image stabilization is great. They call theirs rock steady. It also has a rise in balancing. And with that, the camera can be turned up to 45 degrees in either direction and the horizon is going to stay level. If you drop the resolution down to 2.7K, you get horizon steady. With horizon steady, you can actually rotate the camera 360 degrees and the horizon stays level. You can take photos as well, and it's waterproof up to 16 meters. DJI has its own app called DJI Mimo, and in the app, you can control all the functions inside the camera, all your settings. Uh, it also has a place where you can store your photos and has editing tools. Uh, if you want to do quick edits for social media, as far as issues with the camera, they have been having focus issues and those videos are all over YouTube and it appears to be that some people have them and some people don't. Now DJI released a firmware that was supposed to fix that and some people have said that it fixed it, some people have said that it doesn't. It might actually be a hardware problem as, as opposed to a software problem. But beware if you are interested in the Osmo Action 3, there have been issues with focus uh, hopefully been taken care of. Uh, one thing that plagues action cameras is overheating. I haven't had any issues with this overheating. I've been using, like I said, all day. Uh, as far as long sessions of recording, I've done that. I put it on the dash of my Jeep 
and let it record and haven't had any issues with the overheating. But one thing I have learned to do with any extra cameras you can put on your dash is that I turn on the AC and turn it to the knob to point at the windshield and that keeps cool air blowing across the unit. Uh, so that's going to keep just about any action camera from overheating. If your primary concern is budget and you don't want to mess around with the GoPro subscription or maybe you've been burned by a hero camera in the past and you're still hurting, go with the Osmo Action 3. You got the cool front touchscreen, the magnetic mounting system, and it's a good camera.